You have created your YouTube channel and now you want to record and upload your first YouTube video. Or maybe you already have posted some videos but you want to know how you can bump the quality just a tiny bit. Hopefully in this video I can show you how. If you haven't decided yet on what type of videos you're gonna make or you don't know how to make a YouTube channel, I will provide some links in the description so you can check out some other videos that I created and subscribe if you enjoy the content. First of all, we need to set up your studio and this will be different if you are creating a podcast, gaming, vlog, whatever, but most of the stuff that I'm gonna talk about in this video will apply for each and every one of those. If you would like me to make more of a detailed video where I go through all of the camera settings to make those small adjustments to make your whole video pop even more, let me know in the comment section and we can probably make that video too. So now we need a plan. We will need a room or a place where you can film your videos, ideally a space where it's not that noisy, it has natural lights, maybe it has a window or something so you can light up the room and make it pretty simple. Maybe somewhere you can often go back to and create sort of like I have here a studio environment and you can tweak all of your background and your lights and it will be kind of like your personal studio. It doesn't have to be a big space but we need to find somewhere in either your house, apartment, garage, what, whatever, where you can make it personal and make it a bit more professional than what you see other creators do where, where they are just sitting in front of their computer with a webcam. We can still use a webcam, but we can use some lights and stuff to make it a bit better, I guess. So the stuff that you will need is most likely a camera and a tripod and a microphone and some good lights. And that could be super expensive, but most people have the best camera in the world in their pockets. You can use your phone. If you have a relatively updated phone, most smartphones today will have a really good camera. And if the camera quality isn't 4K pristine perfect, we could still make it work. So now that you have everything you need to record your first video, you will need to figure out where in the frame you are gonna be. There is something called the golden ratio and that is a whole nother thing that we can talk about in another video, but that basically says, try to stay in the middle of the frame, have some air around you so the viewer don't feel like you are squished up in the corner and don't be too close and not like this. Grab some books or whatever to prop up the camera or your phone. Make sure that you get the camera in eye level so the viewers can see you. If you spend money on lights or you find lights that you have in your home, make sure that the lights are giving off like a white color, not like a warm yellow color, because that can be a bit tricky afterwards when you are editing the video, your walls and your skin are like really super yellow and it look, looks a bit bad. And it can also help actually to turn off the lights in your room and create new light sources because the lights in the room can be flickery on the camera, easier for you to control the whole environment if you set up your lights yourself. But you can always put like a light or a lamp or something in the background of your video, as long as that light doesn't give any flickers or doesn't turn the picture to yellow. Okay, so now that you have your room and all of the things that you need to film your video, we need to figure out where in that room are you gonna film it? Maybe you can have your background just a bit further back so you can pop more in the frame, put something behind you so you and the background can separate a bit so you don't really want to have like a blank white wall just behind you. That can be a bit boring if you are able to light up your background like I have here. I have some lights in there, I have some figurines and of course if you are able to just clean up your mess, don't have your three year old dishes in the background, make sure that it looks tidy. And one thing people tend to forget all of the time is the audio of the video. Remember the audio of the video is like 50% of what you see. You can see whatever, but if the audio is trash, you don't really want to listen to that video. You don't have to spend thousands of dollars on a microphone, but either use your phone's microphone and hold your phone like this if you have a camera, or just spend some time editing your audio afterwards to remove hisses and noises. Ideally, spend a little bit of money on a good microphone. Do not buy those Wish $7 microphones. They don't work, they sound trashy and they could like damage your hearing afterwards when you are listening to it. Either don't use a microphone and fix the sound in the editing software or spend a little bit of money on a good microphone. Now you are ready to record your video and hopefully you can edit that video and if you would like me to make like a more in-depth video on how to edit on your phone, 
or how to edit on a PC, let me know in the comment section. And if you are still a bit unsure of your niche on, or how to make a YouTube channel, watch this video right here and I will see you guys in the next one. It's beyond. Peace out. Subscribe. Bye bye. Goodbye. Subscribe. Bye bye bye.